Hey folks, it's Brian Pichol here with the Walleye Guys, and it is officially that time. We've made it through Thanksgiving, the Black Friday, the Small Business Saturday, Cyber Monday have all gone by, but the sales and the savings continue through the month of December. Now, a week or so ago, we put out our Ultimate Sportsman's Gift Guide. We covered about 10 items. Well, there's a whole heck of a lot more than that going on out there right now, and I just want to touch on a few more items that you might be looking at to get your angler, your hunter, any sportsman, man or woman on your list this year. We got some gift ideas for you right here. Now, I'm a stocking guy, man. I love stockings. I don't know what it is about them, just the whole story behind them. But you know what? You can put a lot of really cool stuff in a stocking. And let's see what we got. There you go. One of the number one crankbaits for walleye ever, the Salmo Hornet. This one here is the number five floating. These are about $7.99 and up. Um, you can get them at any one of the box stores. Almost any tackle place is going to be carrying some Salmo Hornets. And last year, Salmo came out with some plastics. We have the spiky shads, which are great. And I probably caught some of my biggest walleye of all last spring, pitching some of those. Right here, we have the slick shads, and we have the walleye shad one as, as well. Um, these are going to be even from $5.99 and up, and your crankbaits are around $7.99 and up. But the Salmo Hornet is a surefire winner for any walleye angler on your list. Um, you know, get two or three, four or five of these, as many as you can cram in a stocking, and I guarantee you they're going to love them. And they used to produce fish all year long. Salmo Hornets, hard to beat. What else we got crammed in a stocking? Jigs. I'm a, a jig fisherman through and through, and Northland Tackle makes some of the best ones out there. Fireball jig. Nothing else fails. You know, when it's going gets tough, the tough get jigging, period. Fireball, eighth ounce, quarter ounce, whatever. I use these all year long. Early spring, pitching a minnow, whether you're vertical or dragging it or what have you. I love these little short shank fireballs for live bait. Um, you know, rivers, it doesn't matter. No matter where you're at, what you're doing, beginner, expert, fireball jigs for Northland Tackle. Absolutely hard to beat. Very affordable. A few bucks for a, a packet of them. Looks like we have some more of them in here. Um, we have the stand-up fireball jigs. These came out a year or two ago with a long shank. These are great for running a little bit bigger baits, plastics, um, or if you're slip, you're slip drifting down the river um, or just anywhere and you're kind of dragging your jigs, these are going to help keep your bait up off the bottom. Okay, once again, very, very affordable. Two, three dollars a box here. Get a whole bunch of them. You can fit a lot of those into a stocking. What else we got? A whole handful. Randy rigs. All right, right on. So, one of the newest things to be hitting the market. Um, not hardly anybody's going to have these. So, whoever you get these for, they're going to love them. It's going to be something new they haven't even seen. Okay, we've all got crawler harnesses, spinners. They've been around for decades, centuries, more or less. Randy rigs are something new invented by Randy Hummel, uh, National Water Tour Pro. Um, just phenomenal idea that he came up here, came up here with. So, a lot of times we're trolling, we're pulling spinners or rigging chubs or or live bait, whatever it is, and you want that one, two, or three hook harness, or maybe you want a, a octopus hook and a treble hook. Well, you, when you tie up your spinners, you're only going to have one option, basically. It's either got two, or you're going to tie up three hooks, or you're going to have a single hook. Randy rigs are easily adjustable to make them a one, two, or three hook, or put an octopus hook on front, and a trailer hook of a, uh, maybe a treble hook stinger, or whatever the case is, which is what I love to run out in the Great Lakes. Okay, so what you got here are stinger hooks that you can add on, the original Randy rig hook. Okay, this is a specialty hook. This is uh, what Randy's came up with. It's, it's these are individually made, made made in the USA right here. Randy makes them himself. Welds in each one of these, and then he has some pre-tied spinner rigs with the Randy rig hooks and the trailers included. So you can swap out trailers, make these a one, two, or three hook harness, or put a treble hook on the back. Um, it won't be long. Every wall angler is going to have these in their boat. It's going to save you from having a ton of extra tackle. You're going to have the few spinners you want and a whole bunch of specialty Randy rig hooks. And you're going to be able to swap out and make those three hook harnesses become one hook harnesses just in a matter of seconds without cutting them. So you can check these out at randyrigs.com. All these items are listed here below. We'll put links to them in the comments. And obviously the names and the websites are right here below. We got gloves, okay? Now, you can never go wrong with gloves. I catch a lot of slack sometimes from wearing gloves, you know, out there. And, oh, you don't need a hand, you don't need gloves to handle fish. Well, when you're a guide, or you fish as much as me and many of you do, gloves are key, all right? They're going to keep your hands 
healthy and protected from the sun all year long. Every day you're fishing, if you don't have them, you, you know those cuts you're getting, especially with walleye or pike and you're handling them. It doesn't take nothing to get a quick little cut, slice anywhere on your finger or your hand. It burns, it takes days or weeks to heal up. And in that meantime, you're gonna get two or three more of those. The Gorilla Grip, um, it's fairly new, non-slip. Okay, these things, no matter what, you can pick up uh, your net, dip that thing in grease, pick it up, pick up a 10 pound fish, it's not gonna slip out of your hand. So they came out with the fingerless gloves. These pretty much will fit anybody. They're so uh, stretchy, easy to clean, keep the sun off. No more fish flop photos, all right? You got a hold of that fish, you're good to go. These, with the fingerless, you can just keep them on all day and fish and tie your knots and you're not gonna have any problems whatsoever. Um, you know, these are $7.99 to $9.99 for a pack. They're gonna last you a long time. Uh, much cheaper than a lot of other gloves out there. Uh, and really multi-purpose. Multi um, they have several different brands. You got your work gloves, ones where if you're on the construction site, uh, yard work, you know, they're not just for fishing. These fingerless ones are obviously designed for fishing. Um, but, you know, fingerless gloves are, are handy anywhere. They also have the cut resistance ones. Now, I clean a lot of fish, and I wear these every time. One, it makes it easy to hold that fish down on the table. And secondly, I still use the old um, hand blade knife or uh, the new bubble lithium electric. When I slip, these, I'm not cutting my fingers. I'm not cutting my hands. I have yet to cut my hand one single time in the last couple of years wearing these grill, grill grip. They're ANSI rated. Okay, so that means they've been through the test. They're certified. I'm going to wear them when I'm butchering up deer, whatever it may be, something when I'm handling a knife and I'm handling a lot of critter or game for a long time, the Gorilla Glyphs, $9.99. You can start to do this. They're at Academy Sports. They're at Walmart. Um, go to their website. Check them out, GorillaGrip.com. If there's anything else down here in this stock. Oh, got one more item. All right, back to some Northland Tackle, the Puppet Minnow. Not just an ice fishing lure anymore, okay? These have been around for years. Now they've come out with a new rattling puppet minnow. I don't have any of them yet. They're going so fast, they're flying off the shelves, they're hard to come by. But you get on their website, northlandtackle.com, and order some today. These are going to be great for ice. They're going to call up those fish from a distance. You're going to get them coming in from all over the place. I love these in open water. I don't all, I use them all year long. If I mark some fish, deep water, shallow water, right below the boat, and I can't get them to go, if I drop one of these down, give it a couple snaps, bam, I got them. And what better way to pair up a puppet minnow or a jigging wrap than with the awesome ice fishing rod. St. Croix has introduced some new, new rods. They have a whole line of the CCIs, which are the Croix Custom Ice Rods. This one here is actually the 36 medium fast. Okay? It's a little heavier, which is good because that's perfect for those heavier jigging and glide style baits. Okay, If I run puppet minnows or the rip shads, I'm going to use this rod. I can really rip those up. Um, the strikes are hard, the baits are sometimes a little heavier compared to a lot of these really small ice fishing jigs that we use. Okay, uh, CCIs, if you've got serious ice fishermen on your list, they're going to love these. They're, this is, once they pick it up, you'll have never felt an ice fishing rod like them. Okay, they're unbelievably light, which means they're unbelievably sensitive. I've had these out, negative 10, negative 20 below zero, no problem. I can still feel the lightest bite from a perch, just picking up that bait and swimming around with it. You know, it's running a... Uh, a puppet minnow or a glide bait and just getting a hard hit or even pulling up some big lake trout on these. Anywhere, you know, these are going to start you off in around 130 bucks and up. So you got a serious ice angler, not a lot of rod, but it's worth every dime, okay? We don't, they don't, they don't sell rods on the, based on the length, they sell them on the quality. And St. Croix is a family owned business, been around for years, has been nothing but producing quality, quality rods at the best price they can. And anglers, once you get them, you'll love them and you'll become part of that St. Croix family and you'll be fishing these for life, trust me. Not only does St. Croix keep coming out with new rods, they got awesome new whole line of apparel. I got this St. Croix flannel on, new hat, we got new hoodies, there's new shirts, anywhere from 10 bucks. I think this flannel is 60 bucks. Hats are usually around the 24, $25 range. You got a St. Croix fan in your family or on that list, head over to stcroix.com. Check out their new apparel. There's a ton, a ton of stuff. There's seven or eight pages of things. They're awesome. It's going to make every angler happy and comfortable, and you're going to look excellent while you're out there on the water. Another item, we didn't get this into the Ultimate Sports Guide because we were running out of room. But if you have a troller on your list, anybody that loves trolling water, it doesn't have to be for walleye, pike, 
lake, you know, trout, whatever it is, any kind of trolling you got going on, whether you're in Great Lakes, on the Missouri River, in the Dakotas, Nebraska, Kansas, I don't care where you are, if you troll crappie, um, it's been, you know, it's really catching on down there. Offshore tackle planer boards, okay? Nobody else. There's one name that is the leader in planer boards, and that's offshore tackle. Now, from about 35 bucks to about 80 bucks, okay? A little pricey, it seems like, about 35 bucks a board. Not really. You're going to buy one. The Shadow family has made these things so good and so durable, you're just not going to have to replace them every year. You're going to get yourself a planer board. Unless, as long as you don't lose it, you're going to keep this thing around for a long, long time. I recommend buying the package around 80 bucks and get the tattle flag kit included. Um, they come with a different clip on here. I've added the OR18. I just really like these. Um, there's a lot of things you can do and you can add to these later. Um, you can modify, you can buy replacement parts. If anything ever goes bad for a few bucks, you just buy a new, a new spring or whatever it is and put it on there and you're set to go. You don't have to buy the whole board again. Um, offshore Tackle, been around a long time, has a ton of great trolling. Uh, products out there, check them out. You got a troller in your family, they got to have some planer boards. Shallow water fishing, spreading your lines up, covering a lot of water, especially if you're in places that allow you to have three rods per person. This is going to get the job done, and you are going to put more fish in the boat, and it's fun. Watching this thing go back, flag go down, big boy bobbers, I call them. Love it, absolutely love it. Let's see, what else we got? And it got his little sleigh pulled up. All right, so this came out this year. This is a new Tacticam fisheye cam, okay? This thing is awesome. If you watch a lot of videos off of the Walleye Guys page, my page, these are what most of them are being filmed from. Really small, okay? They've, they've been around for a long time with Tacticam and on hunting cameras. Now they got the fisheye, all right? I can mount this anywhere in the boat. It's got wide enough lens on it. It's going to capture everything real close. got a built-in microphone. I got Wi-Fi so I can download the app on the phone. And I can watch it and make sure I'm seeing what I want to see. I, it's waterproof. I can dip this down the live well. I can stick it down the lake. And I can see the release of fish or the fish coming in. Obviously, you need some clean water. Um, different systems on it. I can run it continuously. I can put it on a loop. Uh, so I don't have just a ton, a ton of footage to edit. I can go through little five-minute increments, which is what I prefer to do. Um, you know, and you pair this thing up with the Yolo Tech. Okay, a Yolo Tech... It's basically a power source. You'll plug this thing in just like you do your light on your boat, and that's going to pull from your 12 volt system right up into here. And you put your USB and your charging systems right together. Mount this, you have a mount, and then you obviously have a way to move it and angle it differently all day. It's going to stay charged all day. I can run this camera all day long, attach this, and not have to worry about any battery. They just came out with a new waterproof. Uh, cap so you can take this cap off so you can keep the cap on and keep it plugged in at the same time I, you know 70 mile an hour 60 mile an hour down the water this thing cranked down plugged in camera runs no problem this is not falling out this will hold it stable um, a lot of guys are using these things they're real awesome they're about 119 bucks I believe um, get them in different sizes if you have a kayak these are great for mounting on your kayak as well um, get it up high enough and shoot down you can even pull it out if you need to and just use it as kind of a, a selfie stick in a sense um, but the fisheye camera, $199, so there's a lot of cameras out there. These are by far the most affordable ones on the market. They come with a remote, so you can turn them on and off. I can run up to five of these on my boat with the touch of one button at a time and, and have them getting all sorts of different angles. Um, they've been really cool. Uh, we just got them to start running them this fall. You're going to see a ton more stuff coming off of these uh, fisheye. So check them out, the Tacticam fisheye cameras. on the link here below. Oh part of that camera, right? You're going to get some gear, okay? And then you want to get a bunch of the accessories, okay? I can mount this thing on my head. Um, done some stuff lately, pheasant hunting, where I wore this thing all day long. It's cute, I know. Mount it up on the head, have the camera here. You can put it on your chest mount, shoulder mounts, wherever, and just fish or just hunt. And it's going to capture all that action. You can come home later, edit it, put it out there, share it with your friends and family, and just catch those moments. You're going to you know, never miss a bite again. It may be the big one that got away, but if you got a Tacticam fisheye on it, at least you got proof that it was there. Let's see. I got it. Eyewear, all right? Most important thing and most overlooked thing for most anglers out there. Everybody just grab some sunglasses. There is a huge difference between just a pair of sunglasses and a good pair of optics. 
I'm a Wiley X guy, have been for years, absolutely love them for several reasons. Okay, we got the ton of different brands. All right, we'll grab these, the Breach. These are the Wiley X Breach. I thought I'd grab this box, but I have a whole bunch of them here. Okay, they come in all sorts of different styles, colors. There's a ton of them, you know, just, just literally a ton of these to choose from. These have a, a basically an insert around them that keeps dust, high winds, um, water, anything like that coming out of your eyes. These are great. These are what I wear on takeoff. When we're going down the lake 60 miles an hour, you put these on, they're going to be nice and tight, and it's going to keep all that air from going in. I wear contacts and glasses, um, and that's going to help me out considerably, especially from getting that dust stuff in my eye. These are the breech ones. There's a ton, ton more. The best part about these, these are ANSI rated, all right? These are some of the top, you know, the military's been wearing these for years. That was my first experience with them is when I got them issued in the military. <clears throat> I actually just did some testing on these where I shot them with a 22 with a CCI Stinger at 40 yards, and I did not penetrate the, lead, uh, the lens. <clears throat> I shot a shotgun at them at 15 yards, um, and it did not penetrate the lenses. So, <clears throat> safety. If you're setting the hook and that jig comes flying out of the water and hits you or somebody else in the boat in the face, and any a glass pair, uh, any other kind of pair of sunglasses, basically, you're going to shatter it, maybe put your eye out, have some damage. With a Wiley, it's just going to ricochet off, and you're going to be safe and continue on. Um, I'd rather have a scratch in my lens than no lens <clears throat> and a scratch in my eye. Wiley X, check them out. They got a ton, a ton, a ton of styles. Um, they're light, very affordable. These here are about 160. Most of them are going to start at about that 130, 160 and up. Uh, they got, they're just, they're going to last you a long time. They're, you know, right here in uh, uh, California. Great company, veteran owned, military backed. Great, great guys. Wiley X is just a ph phenomenal company to work with. Check out these optics. You're going to love them no matter what your sport or recreation is or just be wearing them outside and protecting your eyes. You can't go wrong with a pair of Wiley X's. So I drink a ton of coffee. Day and night, doesn't matter. Grizzly Cup boy right here is what I drink mine out of. Grizzly Coolers are what I keep a ton of my food and everything in when I travel for tournaments. Grizzly Coolers are made right here in the United States over to Iowa. Some of the original made roto mode coolers. And now they got drinkware. They've had this stuff around for a while and they just keep making it better. Now we got lids. That seal, so you don't you don't splash out when you're going down the lake in the boat, or if you knock it over, you know, hunting or moving up in your tree with it, whatever the case is, keeps it sealed and I keep it closed. So if I am in a tree stand with it, I don't have that awesome aroma of my coffee coming out. Keeps it warm all day long, or it keeps your cold drinks cold all day long. Only about 20 bucks to 24 bucks from a 20 to 32 ounce, depending on what you're doing. Little thermoses, coolers, soft sides, you name it. Check them out at grizzly.com. <coughs> excuse me, at grizzlycoolers.com. Ton of, ton of, ton of cool stuff. Another great company, uh, another American-made company. So just like most all of these items are all made here in the USA, most all of these, not quite all of them, but all the companies are clearly based here and are phenomenal companies um, that I've been doing business with for years. And I would just love your support to support these companies as well. Almost any big box store is going to carry all these products. Um, whether you're at Cabela's or Bass Pro Shops, check them out. Sales are going through all month long. You're going to find some great savings and deals. We got the links in the, in the comments down here below, and I'll put the prices in here on this video as well. Um, but look around; you can probably even find some better savings out there. Bass Pro and Cabela's has some huge stuff going on the rest of the month through Christmas. Um, last but not least, the best gift of all: Hey, the Walleye Guys Guide Service was a busy, busy year last year. Um, the guys did great. Fishing was off and on, depending on where we were at on what day. But that's fishing for you. Nonetheless, we had a great time. A lot of great customers. Hey, give the gift. It never stops giving, and that's making memories with the walleye guys. We got gift certificates available. Just shoot me an email. Shoot me a phone call. Um, we'll work out whatever type it is. If you need lodging or not, we work with the Lewis Clark Resort Lodge. As long as it's available, we can include that in the package for you as well. You usually get a few of these, you know, every year. Um, but get them early because come about, you know, we get a few people are going to get some of these packages over the holidays. But by about February or so. This is when things start filling up, and I bet we had to turn away, you know, 50 to 100 customers last year because we were fully booked. Um, so get your bookings in early. I um, mean, if it's just a booking, just get their deposit in. But if you want to buy a trip for somebody and, and be the best gift giver ever, just shoot us an email and we'll hook you up with a gift certificate to give to them for Christmas, and uh, and you're all set. And it's just up to them to coordinate when they want to go with us. So the sooner they do all that, the better. So give the gift that never stops giving, and that's the one of making memories with the walleye guys out there on the water, either at Francis Case here this spring or Lewis and Clark Lake all summer long. It's going to be a good year. The fish are still biting um, when you can get out. We're, 
you know, early December, and we still got 40, 50 degree days and open water on the river, and the fishing has been pretty good. So um, we expect that to continue to next, right into next spring. So, hey, that's that's all we got for today. Keep watching. Um, we got some prizes coming up, some giveaways coming up through December. If you're not subscribing, get over to the YouTube channel and subscribe because that's where we're going to be picking some winners to give a whole handful, a lot of these particular items away before right before Christmas. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching, and uh, you have yourself a Merry Christmas.